Hey guys, Matt here. Sorry for the sort of delay in any videos. I know it's been a bit quiet on the channel recently. I moved house and time kind of got away with me a little. But I'm back. I'm going to start off not not so much a painting tutorial, but um, just sharing what I've learned using these um, Valijo fluorescent paints. Um, it can be a little tricky to work with, and I've started putting together a, an 80s themed Adeptus Mechanicus army. And um, yeah, I, I thought it was probably worth sharing what I've kind of picked up um, using these paints. So the first thing is they're very, very thin, some more so than others. Um, so they definitely need a solid base. I've got these two um, characters that I'm working on at the moment. And whether the camera's going to pick up on it. There we go. The, the white base layer on the armor panels, that's um, three sort of fairly watery layers of white scar. Um, now some of these paints are a little bit more forgiving than others so I found that the magenta and the green layer fairly easily. Um, the blue I haven't used too much. Um, it's not, you know, it's technically within this range but like, you know, the, the, the highlighter pens, um, the blue ones were never particularly amazing. Um, so yeah, it's, I've included it anyway, but I've not really used it too much. Um, and as for the yellow and the orange, um, the orange needs a really good mix. Uh, even so, it doesn't seem to uh, blend nicely. Uh, and the yellow is really, really thin. Um, if you are painting with this, um, it's more important than the rest to have the white base coat um, without any streaks in it at all. Um, now, as for actually using these and trying to highlight, you can apply a wash over top of them. And I'll try and use a little bit of this magenta here so you can sort of dab a little bit out. I do prefer these Valijo paints actually because you uh, you just kind of take what you need. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a little bit. Hopefully if I can focus in on here. So you can see just how thin they are. So in the sort of recess that it's kind of pulling, but then it's still quite white um, towards the end here. So there you go, that's a bit of a shot of it. You can't. You have to be fairly careful with them. Now I'm not going to complete the whole thing. As I said, this is more of a just a what have I learned sort of video. But as you can see, oh, as you can see with some of these guys, let's pick on him. So the technique I've tried doing is blending the um, magenta up into the orange and then finally the yellow. So you can mix the paints as well. Um, yeah, that's just like any others. Uh, but to quickly recap what I've done with the magenta, um, I've used obviously uh, this and then applied a Karaberg crimson wash over it. Uh, and then once that's dry, use the fluorescent paint again and picked out some of the highlights so whether we can see a little bit on his shin guard there that's roughly what it turns out like with the orange um, I have applied a, a fugan orange wash over it uh, and then much like with the magenta um, use this again over the top for the highlights the green seems to be the easiest um, it is this fluorescent green, um, pretty much as it is, straight over white. And then I put a Hex Wraith Flame Wash over top. Uh, and that's it. I don't, I don't feel the need to go and do any highlights again with that. And uh, if we can zoom in there. So, it, you know, it's, it's pretty neon, just as it is. Um, and the, lastly, the yellow. The yellow is the trickiest one. So I, I've been mucking around a lot with this yellow and this was the first one, the Vanguard I did first and then I learnt a little bit and then did the um, ranges. The yellow's a little bit better on the ranges. Um, it was a lot of trial and error. Um, I think it was this straight over white. Then uh, I think I applied a Lamenta's yellow wash glaze, um, but it changed the colour quite a bit. So I then kind of tried uh, 
getting rid of sort of the streak marks that's left with the wash with um was it dawn yellow the sort of edge paint uh, and then use this again um but yeah it is the trickiest one i wouldn't say that i've kind of solved the uh the yellow so far but yeah as i said um i thought starting up a new video on the channel i'd uh go with something that was a little bit fun these guys are a bit bonkers um, up next once i get the fluorescence done on this um arch mage arch um magos is it i can't remember i'm gonna be painting the um fluid canisters on the top and that will be the the sort of the main video to kickstart this uh a new activity on the channel but for now thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one